Hi, my name is John Garfield. This is the Releasing Kings newsletter. It's uh, January 2nd, 2017. This week I want to talk to you about uh, a growth mindset. It's, um, I read a book by Carol Dweck called uh, Mindset, um, A New Psychology for Success. It's a secular book, but uh, anyway, it was the inspiration for this uh, thought. So the definition of a growth mindset is that life is worth trying that both good and bad will come our ba- way, yet both help us define and develop us in a way that leads somewhere. So I, I both choose destiny, and yet I'm chosen for it, both at the same time. Uh, and a fixed mindset is a belief that, contrary to a growth mindset, is a belief that my aptitude and my future and my fate are sovereignly fixed by God or my genes, and trying doesn't change that course. (laughs) So people who try and succeed against impossible odds are our storied heroes, and we admire them from a distance. The reality is that each of our lives is a story with a happy and a victorious ending, with a significant amount of impossibility in the middle. Whether we do get to 30 or 60 or 100-fold of our destiny depends on, number one, having a sense of what that is and where we're going, and number two, choosing it ourselves, and number three is giving it our best shot, even when it seems impossible. The process of life takes a good deal of courage, and our hearts are warning us, what if I try as hard as I can and then fail? (laughs) It's happened before. Um, So it's very simple. Fixed mindsets conclude that I'll never try again, and growth mindsets say I'll try harder next time. There has to be a way. So when our hearts are connected, our destiny or calling extends through our history, our current vocation, and our future aspirations. Everything fits a theme, even the failures and the losses. So right now, what's happening is God is converting hearts from a spirit of timidity that has roots in in just being mediocre, just being average. Uh, So we're moving from timidity to the spirit of power and love and self-discipline, and we're starting to believe in our future victories. Our perception of God as uh, a hard man is shifting to a loving Father who's called us to do the impossible and is available to add the miraculous. Just as Jesus grew in stature and wisdom, we grow into our destiny the same way, over a lifetime. We, We never stop growing. We're courageous enough to change, that that concept of change is normal and it never stops. Maturity is never outgrowing repentance. In fact, that word in the Greek, metaneo, is to think differently or afterward to reconsider. <clears throat> so 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 and it says, Fan into flame the gift of God, for God did not give you a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So, I'm not going to go through the rest of these points, but let me summarize them. There's a great graphic in the newsletter and lots of uh, additional information. But the past experiences of our heart incline us either toward a fixed mindset where everything's fixed about our future or a growth mindset that the, the concept is that throughout my life I'm growing toward my destiny and change is happening all the time. So... <clears throat> that affects how I how I view about six different things, and one of them is challenges. So a fixed mindset would say, I'm afraid I can't do it. <laughs> and a growth mindset would, would look at, it, at challenges as an opportunity. How about trials? Uh, a growth mindset would say, I'm going to resurrect and try harder next time. And uh, a fixed mindset would say, this is not working. I give up. I surrender. <laughs> so then the, how hard will I try? And the, a growth mindset is, is always all in, <clears throat> that uh, they're not afraid of failure. And uh, a fixed mindset is, this probably isn't going to be worth it. <laughs> how do we handle criticism? Uh, a growth mindset will learn from it, but a fixed mindset will just try to ignore it. Uh, What about the success of others? A fixed mindset will feel threatened, whereas a growth mindset will celebrate the achievements of others and even sometimes emulate them or adopt them. How about finances? A fixed mindset sort of is an an entitlement mindset where it expects other people to uh, transfer wealth into us, whereas a growth mindset is a belief that I can create wealth 
and uh, that's uh, those are some amazing differences. So take a look at the newsletter and realize you can do it. There's nothing too difficult to step into your hundredfold fruitfulness. It's not easy, but God is faithful to do His part. The bigger issue is our ability to trust, to trust God for His part and then be all in for our part. We grow into destiny. We grow into a faith to, to receive from God, and we grow in perseverance to work. And there's a party waiting. Listen to uh, Hebrews 12, verse 2. Who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the, of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. You have a great uh, destiny, a great future, a great book, and it's our ability to believe God for it and to persevere and to you know, sort of lock into what he's doing that gets us there. Amen. Have a great week. Take a look at the newsletter. It's a great graphic in there. And uh, talk to you next time.